We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. On today, Fifth Lock Lights, we take a look at this. And what this is from the Hot Ones, it is the last dab triple X hot sauce. And so this one is with Pepper X. Pepper X is the current Guinness World's Record holder. This has three different variations of Pepper X, the chocolate, I believe, and the peach. And we're not gonna spend a whole bunch of time on the controversy, but something I did find kind of interesting here. Let's read this together. First we feast, hot ones, and the last dab are registered trademarks of BuzzFeed Media Enterprises. So, I feel like all the people that were busy climbing into Ed Curry's shorts behind the Hot Ones branded sauces with Pepper X in it are barking up the wrong tree. Pretty, pretty uh, demonstrably as well. So, it's it's interesting to me here that the the last dab itself is a trademark, but the the variations, the triple X and all the other stuff, I, I would assume those are as well. But the formulations I don't think are. And what's kind of interesting with that is they take they they shop some of their other branded sauces for the hot ones. But if you can only get the pepper X through one source. It makes it super difficult to go try to source that and shop it somewhere else. So I, I don't think that was an unwise move to limit it in that way, if I'm being honest. There are Reapers to be found elsewhere in some of the other ones, but definitely not the Pepper X. Okay, let's see what we can pull in here. So we have the three Pepper Xs, Pepper X, Chocolate, and peach, we have vinegar, we have ginger, we have turmeric, coriander, cumin, and dry mustard. So this is a really, I think it's a pretty interesting sauce. It's just, it, it's so, it's so unique in its approach. I mean, it's it's certainly punchy and, and I would say that non-chili heads can, will probably want to uh, look elsewhere, but uh, Oh boy, you got a whole bunch of that in the neck. I might have to clear that. In fact, let me go do that real quick. Okay, that's much better there. All right, so. I just, the approach to this I really like. And I, I think the coriander and the mustard together, as well as the turmeric, come together super well in this. I can't say it's a mustard sauce. Definitely, I think the coriander shows up the most out of those spices maybe with turmeric as well but i quite like what he's come up with here and we've got this sort of tannish sauce i uh, probably overfilled the spoon this probably will not be uh super pleasant <laughs> oh well but you can see lovely lovely coloration i quite like this yeah very very solid I, uh, I definitely like where they're going with this, but uh, let's get into it here. Ah. It's got some punch. Definitely has some punch to it. 
There's a lot of super hot bitter to this. And those other ingredients aren't going to be super tame either. In fact, this might be a touch overly super hot bitter. Definitely just for chili heads. The, um, the integration of the flavors is interesting. And I think it's kind of a cool idea. Because it expands the gamut a little bit more, I think, for this type of sauce. Yeah. Uh, it is uh, certainly punchy. That was... Um, Notably, notably on the hot side, for sure. All right. So, got some delicious Arby's today. We got these, which are the chicken nuggies. And we'll get to that in a minute. But before we do that, I've got a bacon. No. What am I saying? The, uh... The jalapeno, jalapeno roast beef. Because I thought, you know, with the turmeric and mushroom stuff, this might lend itself well to, and I, th I have tried this on burgers. I thought it was okay there. If a touch jarring, coriander and burgers, I don't think are quite the move. All right, put the jalapenos back on there. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure where this is meant to go. This it seems exotic enough that it might be more geared towards like Indian food, maybe? I don't know how much Smoking Ed's a fan of that. Certainly, he's gotten pretty rangy on some of his sauces. But that also could have had the direction of, you know, First We Feast. Or BuzzFeed or whoever. So it's just okay here. All right. We got the nuggies. Yeah, I did that well, didn't I? Alright. Oh. Yeah, it's punchy. <laughs> Gotta save some of this business for the wing things. See if we get it all coated though. I don't think that's doing anything, but what the hell. All right. I guess as good as it's going to get. We need to take a look at it, though. Yeah, we've got... Pretty even coating. These were a lot lighter. Uh, a lot lighter brown when they, when they came in. Oh boy, okay. Too messy over here for my own good. All right. I'm not a huge fan 
Oh, coriander and cumin. Oh, this is um, certainly a very hot sauce. I kind of wish it would have skewed a little more towards like the turmeric and mustard. Man, this is punchy. There's a lot of that bitter super hot going on as well. So pepper acts on a little I'm undecided about. I don't I do like stuff like the Chipotle Express was a contender for sauce of the year. But Some of the other places I've had it, I thought it was just okay. And this one, it's hard to get a read on this sauce because of all the other flavors in it. I mean, I said that wrong. It's hard to get a read on the pepper because of all the other flavors. Oh. This is punchy. There's a build here. For me, I think the build for something like Primo's a Rapers is notably higher. Like those build a lot more than where they start, I think. This one starts pretty high. And there is a bill, but it's not as progressive. I think the Reaper, or maybe the Primo has a relation to having your own, which kind of cleans up. I don't know what Pepper X is a derivative of. So I still don't have really a good grasp on the flavor of Pepper X, but I will say that Reapers, this is much less hard on my system than Reapers are. Reapers, I almost have to develop a tolerance specifically for them. It's the only pepper that does that to me, I don't know why. This one, I have a little bit of the pulse and tinnitus going on. Heartbeat in your ears. Very low key though. Uh, this one is, it, it's, it's hot, it's not really blazing I wouldn't say. The flavor is certainly more of that bitter, super hot, way more. Um, 
so I can't, maybe the pepper tastes like that. I don't know, it's hard to get a read on the pepper. I just haven't had enough Pepper X stuff yet. And I think the original last dab was maybe one of the pep just one of the Pepper X, not all three. I don't know. If I find it, I'll do that one too, of course. This one is a lot more hellish on my tongue than anything else. Like it is, my, my tongue is definitely the thing that's been burning the most so far. Um, I don't think this sauce is a super good fit for my palate. And I mean, it, the, the creation is, is fine. It is what it is. But I don't think the flavor is up my alley, so to speak. And uh, so this is, I mean, I'll probably burn through the bottle just doing it on wing things. I actually have an actual number 10 slotted sauce finally. So I'll do some more of that, but I'm not interested in eating this outside of those, honestly, particularly. I just, this just doesn't mesh very well with me. I mean, I, I'm, I've am i got a little bit of sweat going, got a little bit of eye watering going. Uh, so, I mean, it definitely, I would say this is safely in chili head only territory, but it's definitely a, a really unique sauce. I, it's just not one that I'm super motivated to, to eat a whole bunch, I guess. It's just the flavor profile is not, not really super fitting. So, um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly have not found, so we're about halfway through the bottle now. I have not found where I think this thing fits the best. Uh, I think it's fine on chicken. I'm interested to see what it does on wings, but it just, even on the things I think it's okay on, I'd almost always rather have something else. And again, that really has more to do. I feel like with the spices, than anything else and it's just it's just the way my palate goes so yeah finally finally cool to get into one of the last dabs for sure and uh i guess we'll just leave it there so that was the hot ones last dab triple x look for it from quarter two 2024 onward in the wing things till i run out of it and as always Go forth in peace to serve the flame.